नमस्कार भाइयों बहनों आज मैं आपके साथ जनवरी 2022 के करंट अफेयर्स टॉप 100 क्वेश्चंस डिस्कस करने वाला हूं जैसा कि आप सभी को पता होगा प्रदेश में हम आयोजित होने वाली तमाम परीक्षाएं तथा नेशनल लेवल पे भी जितनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स आयोजित होते हैं सभी में करंट अफेयर्स एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका निभाता है सो so, मैं आशा करता हूं कि आप इस वीडियो के माध्यम से जनवरी के सभी महत्वपूर्ण जो क्वेश्चंस हैं जो कि एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी इम्पॉर्टेंट है उन सभी को पढ़ के अपने एग्जाम में जाएंगे ताकि आप आने वाली यू की आगामी परीक्षाएं जो भी शेड्यूल्ड हैं चाहे वो आपका यू के अपर प्रिलिम्स हो या ए की परीक्षा हो या आर ओ की परीक्षा हो सभी में आपके लिए लाभकारी साबित होगा तो चलिए शुरुआत करते हैं अपने करंट अफेयर्स जनवरी टू के टॉप हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन की पहला क्वेश्चन है हु हैड हु हैज़ बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चीफ इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इसका आंसर हो जाएगा आपका ऑप्शन बी वी अनंता नागेश्वरन और इन्होंने रिप्लेस करा है के सुब्रमण्यन को के सुब्रमण्यन वी अनंता नागेश्वरन हैज़ बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चीफ इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड ही हैज़ रिप्लेस्ड कृष्ण मूर्ति सुब्रमण्यन Moving on to the next question, India's largest electric vehicle charging station has been inaugurated at which place? इसका आंसर आपका हो जाएगा ऑप्शन सी विच इज गुरुग्राम मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पराक्रम दिवस इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन विच डे टू मार्क द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस द आंसर टू दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी थर्ड जनवरी तो देखिए कई क्वेश्चन आपको ऑप्शन के द्वारा भी एलिमिनेट करने हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यही क्वेश्चन जो मैं डिस्कस आपके साथ कर रहा हूँ अगर आपको थोड़ा भी हिंट है कि जो पराक्रम दिवस है जो कि नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस से रिलेटेड है वो जनवरी में आता है तो आप इसका सही आंसर जो कि ऑप्शन ए है वहाँ तक पहुँच जाएंगे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है हु हैज़ बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चेयरमैन ऑफ द इंडियन फार्मर्स फर्टिलाइजर कॉपरेटिव विच इज़ इफको द आंसर टू दिस विल बी ऑप्शन डी दिलीप सांघानी सो डी इज़ द करेक्ट ऑप्शन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Abdullah Hamdok has recently resigned as the Prime Minister of which country? So the answer to this will be option C, Sudan. Moving on to the next question, which city has become the city with the largest metro network in the world? This is option B, Shanghai, which is in China. Next question is, which country has taken over the presidency of the Council of the European Union for six months, starting January two thousand twenty-two? Now this is a very important question आपके UK PSC एस सी अपर प्रिलिम्स के परस्पेक्टिव से भी जो कि इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन देखा गया है हमेशा आयोग द्वारा अपर पी सी एस में पूछे जाते हैं इसका आंसर है आपका ऑप्शन डी फ्रांस फ्रांस के पास अभी यूरोपियन यूनियन की प्रेजिडेंसी मिली है जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू में साथ ही आपको बता देता हूँ जो हेडक्वार्टर्स हैं यूरोपियन यूनियन के वो हैं आपके ब्रूसेल्स में बी आर यू एस एस ई एल एस विच इज़ द कैपिटल ऑफ बेल्जियम साथ ही द नंबर ऑफ प्रेजेंट Members of European Union are 27. So 27 countries are presently part of the European Union. Moving on to the next question, who has been appointed as the new Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Railway Board? So the answer to this will be option B, Vinay Kumar Tripathi. Next question is, which day is observed as World Hindi Day globally every year? इसका आंसर आपका हो जाएगा विच इज ऑप्शन सी टेंथ जनवरी कई बच्चे इसमें आपका ऑप्शन ए फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर भी मार के आ जाएंगे जो कि गलत होगा क्योंकि ये हिंदी दिवस है ना कि वर्ल्ड हिंदी डे ग्लोबली जो वर्ल्ड हिंदी डे सेलिब्रेट होता है इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन टेंथ जनवरी एंड ये आपका 2006 में पहली बार ऑर्गेनाइज हुआ था मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्टेट हैज वन द बेस्ट स्टेट अवार्ड इन थर्ड नेशनल वाटर अवार्ड फॉर टू दिस इज ऑप्शन डी उत्तर प्रदेश मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु हैज बीन री अपॉइंटेड एज चेयरमैन ऑफ सी ए सी पी कमीशन फॉर एग्रीकल्चर कॉस्ट एंड प्राइसेस जो आपका मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस एम एस पी भी निर्धारित करता है इसके जो आपके चेयरमैन री अपॉइंट हुए हैं वे वो हैं विजय पॉल शर्मा विच इज ऑप्शन ए मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच कंट्री हैज बीन एडेड एज द फोर्थ न्यू मेंबर ऑफ ब्रिक्स डेवलपमेंट बैंक द आंसर टू दिस विल बी ऑप्शन बी इजिप्ट साथ ही मैं आपको बता देता हूँ ब्रिक्स जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है इट स्टैंड फॉर ब्राजील रशिया इंडिया चाइना एंड साउथ अफ्रीका इनका जो बैंक है न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक ये 2015 में सेटअप हुआ था साथ ही मैं आपको बता देता हूँ जो साउथ अफ्रीका है ये पहले ब्रिक्स का पार्ट नहीं था ये पार्ट बना आपका ब्रिक्स का 2010 में तो साउथ अफ्रीका एज अ मेंबर वाज एडेड इन 2010 व्हिच डे इज ऑब्जर्व एज वर्ल्ड ब्रेल डे अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एनुअल डे अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो द आंसर टू दिस इज ऑप्शन ए फोर्थ जनवरी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच स्टेट हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट एल लिक्विफाइड पेट्रोलियम गैस अनेबल्ड एंड स्मोक फ्री इंडियन स्टेट The answer to this is option B, Himachal Pradesh. Next question is which state has been has 
launched student startups and innovation policy 2.0 that is ssip 2.0 for the next 5 years so the answer to this will be gujarat jaisa ki aap dekhenge ki kai questions aayog dwara har paper mein kuch na kuch aise bhi pucha jata hai ki ye scheme kis rajya dwara start ki gayi for example jo hara bhara scheme thi wo aapki forest ranger ke paper mein puche gayi jo ki telangana ki thi ek aur scheme aapki puchi gayi har ghar jal har ghar pani जो कि पंजाब से रिलेटेड थी वो भी प्रीवियसली आपकी आयोग द्वारा पूछी गई तो ये महत्वपूर्ण जो स्कीम्स हैं ये भी आपको याद करके जानी है अपने एग्जामिनेशन के लिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ नेशनल मिशन फॉर क्लीन गंगा अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति सो द आंसर टू दिस विल बी ऑप्शन ए जी अशोक कुमार नेक्स्ट इज हु हैज बिकम इंडिया सेवेंटी थर्ड चेस ग्रैंड मास्टर सो द आंसर टू दिस विल बी ऑप्शन डी भरत सुब्रमण्यम मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द वाइस प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट बैंक which is AAIB this is Urjit Patel former RBI governor next question is when is the national youth day observed in india this is 12th january and this is very very important because this is the birthday of swami vivekananda who is also famous for the world parliament of religions held in 1893 in chicago moving on to the next question which city will get india's first heli hub with all aviation facilities this is option d gurugram Moving on to the next question, the Indian International Cricket Council has announced Azaz Patel as the winner of the ICC Men's Player of the Month, who plays for. This is New Zealand, and uh, in the recently held series between India and New Zealand, Azaz Patel has become this, uh, the first player, I guess, from New Zealand to take ten wicket haul in Test match cricket against India. Moving on to the next question, the inter which country has topped the henley passport index 2022 the answer to this is option b japan moving on to the next question which state has finished first out of 26 states and union territories in the india skills 2021 contest the answer to this will be odisha next question is who has been appointed as the new chief of isro this is dr s somnath he has replaced k c1 question aise bhi pucha jata hai dr s somnath has replaced whom as the new chief of isro then the answer will be k c1 moving on to the next question the 24th national conference on e government has been organized in which city so the answer to this will be hyderabad which is option c next question is which place has been hand picked by prime minister narendra modi to host the 25th national youth festival so the answer to dil will this will be option a which is puducherry next question is name the indian who has been appointed as the chair of un security council counter terrorism committee for 2022 the answer to this is option d ts tirumurthy name the world's first company which has recently hit dollar 3 trillion market cap the answer to this will be apple which is option a next question is which payment bank has been categorized as a scheduled bank by the reserve bank of india recently the answer to this will be option c which is Air airtel payments bank next question is which state has declared itself a child marriage free district the first in the state so the answer to this will be option d odisha next question is who took over as the 24th director general of indian coast guard the answer to this is option a vs pathania which state has the highest number of villages as per odf plus under the swachh bharat mission gramin phase 2 program the answer to this will be telangana which is option b name the former british prime minister to be appointed as members of the order of the garter england's oldest and most senior order of chivalry this is tony blair option a center has recently extended the tenure of whom as the interim chairperson of the insolvency and bankruptcy board of india till march 5 2022 the answer to this will be option a which is navarang saini question 35 who has authored the new book titled gandhi's assassin the making of nathuram godse and his idea of india the answer to this is option c dhirendr jha who has received dr subhas mukherji award from icmr in recognition for his outstanding contribution to the field of in vitro fertilization ivf so the answer to this will be satish adiga which is option a satish adiga next question is who has been appointed as the new secretary general of the organization of petroleum exporting countries which is opec the answer to this will be option d which is hetha malghais let me tell you opec is an organization of the petroleum exporting countries there are countries from asia there are countries from africa and there are two countries from south america which are generally asked in exams and these two countries are ecuador and the second country is venezuela so these are the countries of opec from south america 
Legends Cric- League Cricket LLC has appointed whom as an ambassador to its all women match official team to promote women empowerment. This is Indian player Julian Goswami. India Japan has signed a landmark defense treaty named the Reciprocal Access Agreement RAA with which country to counter China. This is Australia option C. Recently legendary Kathak dancer who passed away at the age of 83 was Pandit Birju Maharaj which is option D. What is the theme of the Digital World Economic Forum DeVos Agenda 2022? The answer to this is option A, the state of the world. Next question is World's largest Khadi national flag was put to display to celebrate the Army Day at Longewala in which state? Now this is in Rajasthan and a place called Jaisalmer. It is close to that. Who is the winner of Miss World 20, 2022 beauty pageant? So the answer to this will be option A, Shalin Fold. Moving on to the next question. Which word has been chosen as the Word University Press Children's Word of the Year 2021? Answer is option A, Anxiety. Moving on to the next question. Iconic Infinity Bridge has been formally opened to the traffic for the first time on 16th January 2022 in which country? Answer is UAE and the place is Dubai. Which organization has recently released Inequality Kills Report? This is Oxfam India. Which state panchayat is set to become the country's first sanitary napkin free panchayat? This is option D, Kerala. Kerala will be the correct answer for this. Moving on to the next question. India's first para badminton academy has been set up in which country, which city? Sorry, the answer to this will be option A, Lucknow. Moving on to the next question. Recently, which nation has decided to move its capital to Nusantara? This is option C, Indonesia. Who has been appointed as the new chairman and managing director of Air India? It is very much in news. Can be asked in the forthcoming examinations because this has been given back to the Tatas now. So the answer to this will be Vikram Dev Pant, which is Vikram Dev Dutt, which is option D. Which team has won the ninth National Women's Ice Hockey Championship in 2022 held in Himachal Pradesh? So the answer to this will be option A, Ladakh. Moving on to the next question. Air India has been acquired by Tata Sons for what deal price? The answer to this is rupees 18,000 crores. Option C. Who has been conferred with Assam's highest civilian honor, Assam Beva, for the year 2021? This is option A, Ratan Tata. Moving on to the next question, which brand has emerged as the world's most valuable brand in 2022? According to the Brand Finance 2022 Global 500 report, this is option A, Apple. Moving on to the next question, name the player who has been conferred with the Sir Garfield Sobers Trophy for ICC Men's Cricketer of the Year 2021. This is a player from Pakistan and he is Shahin Shah Afridi, which is a false fast bowler. The National Voters Day is observed every year on which day in India? So the answer to this will be 25th January. And let me tell you, the first National Voters Day in India was celebrated in the year 2011. It was started in 2011. Next question is, the new species of uh, rain frog that was found in the Panama forest has been named after whom? So the answer to this will be Greta Thunberg, who is a climate change activist. And she belongs to which country? So the country to which she belongs is Sweden. She is a Swedish climate activist. Which country has signed a dollar sixty-nine billion deal to buy U.S. gaming giant Activision Blizzard? So the answer to this will be option A, which is Microsoft. Moving on to the next question, which country has released the comic book titled India's Women Unsung Heroes? The answer to this will be Ministry of Culture. Next question is, which country's defense company Saab has been selected by the Indian Armed Force? The answer to this will be option D, Sweden. Which one? Which of these leaders has been conferred with the Netaji Award 2022 by the Netaji Research Bureau? This is former Prime Minister of Japan who is Shinzo Abe. Option A. Which intergovernmental alliance is holding a maritime exercise named Neptune Strike 22 in the Mediterranean Sea? This is NATO. Next question is who has been conferred with the International Association of Working Women Award? The answer to this will be Sushmita Sen which is option A. Moving on to the next question. The first BRICS Sherpas meeting of 2022 was held virtually on January 18, 19, 2022 under the chairmanship of which country? So the answer to this will be option A, China. Next question is, which ministry has announced the initiation of the Open Data Week from 17 January to 21st January? So the answer to this will be MOHUA, which is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. What is the rank of India in Henley Passport Index released for quarter 1 of 2022? This is 83. Might be asked, a ranking related to an index is always asked in the UKPSC papers and also in different competitive examinations. 
which city has become India's first city to have a water metro project after the launch of the first boat in December 2021, namely Muziris. So the answer to this is Kochi, which is in Kerala. Who is the author of the new book titled Mamta Beyond 2021? This is Jayanta Ghoshal, a very famous book which has been into limelight recently. Moving on to the next question. Which tech giant has acquired Israeli cyber security startup? Simplify. This is Google, which is option C. Moving on to the next question. ONGC has roped in first ever female as the CMD on an interim basis. Name the new interim CMD. Then she was Alka Mittal, which is option D. Moving on to the next question, which is who has achieved the milestone of picking 100 wickets away from home in 22 test matches? This is Jaspreet Bumrah, Indian fast bowler. So the answer is option A. Moving on to the next question. Which country launched its first in the series project 22220 versatile nuclear powered icebreaker Sibir to boost India's Arctic plans via Northern Sea Route? Now Arctic plans, the country which is nearest to the Arctic is Russia. So the answer of course will be Russia. Some answers need to be derived from your common sense as well. So the answer is Russia. Who has taken charge as a new Secretary General of the Shanghai operation organization the answer to this is Zhang Ming currently SCO has nine members let me tell you the members are T R U C K K this is an abbreviation to remember six SCO members T is Tajikistan R is Russia U is Uzbekistan C is China K is Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan these are six members plus India seven Pakistan 8 and the newly added member is Iran which is 9. So there are 9 members of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Moving on to the next question who has been named as the new chief economist of the International Monetary Fund? The answer to this is option A Pierre Oliver Gornikas who is a French economist. Moving on to the next question who is named as the head of the five member committee formed by Supreme Court to probe the security beach of PM security in Punjab? This is option C, which is Indu Malhotra. Uh, first World Deaf T20 Cricket Championship in 2023 will be held in. It will be held in Tiruvananthapuram, which is the capital of Kerala. Moving on to the next question. Which company has signed a pact with the University of Ulu, France to accelerate research and standardization in 6G technology? This is Reliance Geo. Moving on to the next question. The world's largest canal rock lock has recently been unveiled in which country? So the answer to this is option A, which is Netherlands. Moving on to the next question. Who is the author of the new book titled A Little Book of India, celebrating 75 years of independence? This is option C, Ruskin Bond. Moving on to the next question. Which index is India's first crypto index that was launched by CryptoWire? This is option D, IC15, IC15. Moving on to the next question, which is question number 81. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation station, foundation stone of Major Dhyan Chand Sports University in which state? So the answer to this will be option A, which is Uttar Pradesh. Let me tell you, it was um, inaugurated in Meerut. Union Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has launched a 100-day reading campaign named. So the answer to this will be option B, Padhe Bharat. Padhe Bharat, you should remember this. It is Padhe Bharat, not Padhega Bharat. Moving on to the next question. Who has been appointed as the president of the US India Business Council, USIBC? This is Atul Keshap. Option A. Ministry of External Affairs, MEA, has appointed which company as the service provider for the second phase of Passport Seva program? This is Tata Consultancy Services, TCS. Where has been the first open rock museum inaugurated on the CSIR National Geophysical Research Institute campus? The answer to this is Hyderabad, option C. Which mutual fund has launched India's first auto exchange traded fund, ETF? So the answer to this will be option A, Nippon India Mutual Fund. Which state has become the first state in the country to launch digital life certificate system for pensioners? So the answer to this will be option D, Odisha. Next question is, the Indian Army has established the quantum lab at the Military College of Telecommunication Engineering, MCTE, in a military headquarters of war in which city? The answer to this is option A, which is Indore. Moving on to the next question. Name the person who has been awarded Journalist of the Air Award for 2020, Red Ink Award 2020 by the Mumbai Press Club. So the answer to this will be option C, which is Danish Siddiqui. Next question is, which airline has appointed Vinod Kanan as the Chief Executive Officer? So the answer to this will be option D, Vistara. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी वन इज विथ स्टेट सेलिब्रेट्स लो सोंग नाम सोंग फेस्टिवल सो दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन माइट ऑल्सो बी आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम द आंसर टू दिस विल बी सिक्किम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द सीलिंग ऑन पार्लियामेंट्री पोल एक्सपेंडिचर हैज बीन रेस्ड फ्रॉम सेवेंटी लैख टू डैश इन बिगर स्टेट्स इलेक्शन आर बींग हेल्ड इन फाइव स्टेट्स सो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव आंसर इज नाइन्टी फाइव लैक्स हु हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड द ट्वेंटी विद द ट्वेल्थ भारत रत्न डॉक्टर अम्बेडकर अवार्ड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू आंसर टू दिस विल बी हर्षाली मल्होत्रा ऑप्शन ए मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु इज द ऑथर ऑफ रमन टाटाज रतन टाटाज ऑथराइज बायोग्राफी टाइटल रतन एंड टाटा द ऑथराइज बायोग्राफी द आंसर टू दिस विज इज थॉमस मैथ्यू विच इज ऑप्शन ए डी आर डी ओ रिसेंटली टेस्ट फायर नेवल वेरियंट ऑफ ब्रह्मो सुपरसोनिक क्रूज मिसाइल विच डिस्ट्रॉय शिप वॉज यूज फॉर टेस्टिंग द मिसाइल द आंसर टू दिस इज आई एन एस विशाखापट्टनम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नेम द इंडियन ओरिजिन ब्रिटिश आर्मी ऑफिसर हु बिकेम द फर्स्ट वुमन ऑफ कलर टू मेक अ सोलो अन सपोर्टेड ट्रैक टू द अर्थ साउथ पोल द आंसर टू दिस विल बी हरप्रीत चांदी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द रामनाथ गोइंग का अवार्ड्स फॉर एक्सीलेंस आर अवार्डेड एनुअली इन इंडिया फॉर दिस इज जर्नलिज्म रामनाथ गोइंग का अवार्ड्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ जर्नलिज्म ऑप्शन डी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच कंट्री हैज जॉइंड द इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस एज द वन हंड्रेड सेकेंड मेंबर बाय साइनिंग द इंटरनेशनल सोलर फ्लेमवर्क अग्रीमेंट दिस इज एंटीगुआ एंड बारबोडुआ कंट्री इन द करीबियन लेट मी टेल यू इंडियन इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस इज एन जॉइंट एफर्ट बाय विच वॉज स्टार्टेड बाय इंडिया एंड फ्रांस Moving on to the next question, which is question ninety nine, which country has become the first foreign country to place order for the purchase of Brahmos shore based cruise missile system for its navy? This is Philippines. A very important question. Brahmos missiles. Whenever it comes to a deal of Brahmos missiles with India, it is Philippines. Option C. Next question is what is the theme of the sixteenth Digital Summit two thousand twenty two? And the answer to this will be option D, which is supercharging startups. so with that we have discussed the top 100 questions which are most important for all the forthcoming examinations related to current affairs i am sure that all of you are preparing hard for the upcoming examinations our annual calendar for examinations of the uttarakhand pcs commission has already been launched by the commission and our upper pcs exam is scheduled for 3rd april 2022 i guess this is the date 3rd or 4th april hope you are preparing for it This is a new book which has been launched by us uh, regarding that because a significant portion is being asked related to Uttarakhand GK as well. The book is named Mission Uttarakhand, thirty three hundred plus questions. It covers your F MCQs related to the various topics. Let me scroll through the topics: the history of Uttarakhand, basic general knowledge, census, lakes, forests, glaciers, institutes, tribes, fairs, and all other significant topics from which questions might be asked in the upper PCS prelims, RO ARO paper, or your UK BSc AE paper. i am sure that you know if you prepare through this book you will definitely get an edge over other candidates and with the due short span of time that is being left i suggest you to strongly go through this book so that you can make the maximum out of the little time that we have been left with so all the best to all of you hope you enjoyed this video do subscribe to our telegram channel and you can order this book from the link that is being shared in the telegram group for which i'll drop the link below this video thank you very much hope you enjoyed the video